Hi, and welcome to the tutorial video for Stats250 Prelab 6. So in this tutorial video, we're going to show you how to make a QQ plot and talk a little bit about how to interpret what a QQ plot is telling us. So before we get started with this, we're just going to, as always, open our commander. Here I have the R console open, and at the prompt in the console, I'm going to type library, an open parenthesis, capital R, CMDR, close that parenthesis, and hit enter. Okay, so now we have our commander open. We're gonna start by loading a data set. So to do this, we're gonna come up to data, load data set. And in the prelab six folder that I've made for the 250, I have bus time.r data. So I'm just gonna click that, click open. So the data that we're gonna be using is called bus time. This is available on Canvas. Um, this basically measures how many minutes late buses arrive at a particular bus stop. So we can come up and view the data and we can see that there are 19 observations of one variable that's called minutes, which is just how many minutes late the bus is. So we're interested in checking the assumption of normality. So we, we need to know if our sample can be reasonably assumed to come from a normally distributed population. And one way to check this assumption is to make what's called a QQ plot or a quantile comparison plot. So to do this in our commander, we're going to come up to graphs, quantile comparison plot. And the variable that we want to make a QQ plot of, minutes, is already highlighted for us. We can come over to the options tab now, and there are a few options that we can select. The first asks the distribution that we want to compare our data to. In T Stats 250, we're always going to make comparisons to the normal distribution. Uh, we don't need to identify any points here. So we're just going to select do not identify. If you want, you can leave that on still. Um, and we're, we can also come over to plot labels and change the title of the graph. Okay. So remember in 250, we want to give our graphs a descriptive title. And we want to include our name in that title. So here I'm going to call this QQ plot of bus late times in minutes by, I'll, I'll include a line break here, so backslash n by 250 instructional team. All right, and let's click OK to make this plot. So now in a new window, the QQ plot has appeared. This may have appeared in an XQuartz window on a Mac, or if you're on a PC, it may be in the original R window. So this is what we're looking at here. Let's talk about this. You can see that our data points here are plotted along what looks to be an approximately straight line. So this solid line is our goal. We want our points to fall approximately on this line, and that will give us evidence that our sample came from an approximately normally distributed population. The dotted lines out here represent 95% confidence intervals at every point along the x-axis. So if most of our data falls within this confidence interval, then we can say comfortably that the data provide evidence that the sample comes from a normally distributed population. So here, most of our points are pretty close to this straight line. Uh, this is a pretty great looking QQ plot and provides pretty solid evidence that this sample came from a population with a normal distribution. So let's write that up in our R Markdown document. So we can come to the R Markdown tab. We'll scroll to the top. We're gonna replace this with our main title, Prelab. Six, your name, and down below, at the very bottom, below this QQ plot code, we can give a blank line and start describing our QQ plot. So we can say something like, because the data points fall along a straight line, we can reasonably conclude that our sample is from a normally distributed population. We can come up and save our, our markdown file. So just file, save our markdown file. And we'll call this prelab. 6.rmd. Hit enter to save it and click generate report. Now in our browser, 
Our report has opened. This is pre-lab six at the top. We have our QQ plot. We've got the text that we added at the bottom that's nicely formatted. Now, in order to find this file and submit this to Canvas, you want to open the folder where you saved that R Markdown file. So here, this is in my Prelab 6 folder. And in that folder, you can see I have a file called prelab6.html. I don't need to do anything in the browser. So I don't need to save this page from, from the browser that I'm using, which is Firefox here. You don't need to save anything from Safari on a Mac, for instance. It's just wherever you save that R Markdown file, this is the, the HTML file that you want to upload to Canvas. So that's all we've got for you this week. We're looking forward to seeing you in lab this week.